do i really need astrology how can astrology guide me through my life span this is the only manual where the creator has given for us in such a modern world what major role an astrologer can play in every individual's life in order to study this manual we need an expert normally people believe that astrology is a pseudo science and not a pure science do you agree uh, at this point of time after being so much in astrology understanding so many things about astrology happy morning i am santosh kumar from chennai and i am a nutritionist as well as an alp practitioner myself rupesh i'm from bangalore and i'm also an astrologer currently practicing alp astrology system sir great nowadays our education pattern has uh, changed people are getting higher educations and uh, education quality has gone up education as go- education goes up and up the new generation is missing a lot from the ancient livelihood and one of the major thing missed out seems to be astrology and astrology is taken as a myth or pseudo science and they don't believe them um, because they are not given proper information based on science about astrology let me put up my first question do i really need astrology how can astrology guide me through my life span so what i would like to tell about the actual need of astrology is something like this sir so it is a very complicated question i'll try to brief it out um, according to you know my views and opinions here so when we look at the subject of astrology so unlike other subjects this is the only subject which emphasizes on time so in another meaning we can also tell this is the only subject which studies the behavior of time so this behavior of time how it is happening in this creations or in this universe and what sort of an influences is this time actually recording and how the creation is bound to this time see all these informations are dealt in this subject astrology so henceforth i feel astrology has a very very prominent role because in this universe everything is like on the you know basis of time and this entire information is in the subject of astrology and yes this time is so much influential that even our daily activities and you know day to day lifestyle all these things are time bound just for an example to put forth it, put for this in a much much uh, you know brief way now uh, uh, as we know ayurveda also originated from india and we know this entire system uh, deals on the uh, medicine that is the plant based medicine do you seriously think that all these plants are you know available at all the uh, period of time no right and are these plants really eligible to you know treat a disease or to use to cure a disease there are certain periods where only when the phytoconstituents of these plants are rich enough only those time or the those seasons are picked so like how do we get to know all this informations it is through the application of astrology since astrology also speaks about the geographical changes also speaks about the you know change in the seasons what season comes after what and what season brings what sort of an influences on this creation the entire thing is covered in astrology in such an intrinsic way where even these changes can be applied to human life also to study their pattern of lifestyle 
so when you actually gauge these patterns it becomes much more easy for you to predict where the natal destiny is moving where this natal is actually moving ahead in his life whether he is taking the right path or he is deviating from it so henceforth to cover all these things there is a much much need of this topic called astrology not only now it was there it had and it will be since this is the only manual where the creator has given for us to take a reference from this and to shape up the lifestyle so that we get the best out of our lives okay the purpose of astrology is understood how about an astrologer in any man's life in his early ages he needs lot of guidance for career guidance as we have coaches and mentors and teachers they teach us few skills techniques and few skills but parenting plays a major role in a career building uh, character building but nowadays even parents are not enough skilled to guide their children in such a modern world what major role an astrologer can play in every individual's life okay uh well to answer this um, let us find out uh, in a very basic manner sir we have subject experts right in all the fields we have subject experts we have doctors for the who holds an expertise in the field of health so like that we have various sorts of engineer who holds an expertise in their own fields but when it comes to the time when it comes to the operation of this machine there is a certain manual that is been provided by the nature and that is nothing but astrology so in order to study this manual we need an expert so that expertise is with an astrologer because if you if you observe this creation or like if you observe this nature everything is in one or the other way it is bound to time the changes what you see is completely bound to time the influences what you see it is completely bound to time why it doesn't rain all 365 days in a year because there it is bound to time where the creation is made up in such a way that only from this particular season to this particular season the rain is expected whereas the other seasons remains dry so which means everything in this creation is bound to time the same way even we as humans our lifestyle and also our activities is completely bound to time so in order to study this we need a person who holds an expertise in the language of time and that expertise is with an astrologer normally people believe that astrology is a pseudo science and not a pure science do you agree uh, at this point of time after being so much in astrology understanding so many things about astrology i would definitely come to my answer as no the reason behind i would rather tell that astrology has not got that strong foundation or a platform to prove itself sir because not only astrology if you actually see many of the knowledge many of the uh, you know studies that was so much into our culture is completely kept away is completely kept aside as of now the reason be, being is we indians we have inclined so much towards this west civilization and west culture the inclination is so much that you know we are not being aware of our own you know traditional practices or the knowledge which were completely for our well being 
so there can be you know various reasons also because the west came inside us uh, inside india they took our knowledge they mis- misunderstood it they misinterpreted it they translated according to their understanding and in the present generation what we do as indians we re- we read all those things and we come to a conclusion understanding that these subjects like for example astrology and we have so many other you know medicinal concepts also like siddha medicines and other so many things where even till today it is considered to be pseudo science but before the west came we were the pioneers in these fields it is what what i would tell is the current knowledge which the readable knowledge as of now what we are getting majority of it is nothing but the misinterpretation misinterpretation of the west what we as a current generation we are studying so that is one of the major reasons what i found as of now sir the modern science says sun is considered as a star and other planets as planets whereas in astrology sun is considered as a planet how it is to be understood so this is another most common question you know that is asked by common people to astrologers uh when it when when we talk the astronomical concepts in astrology so one thing what we have to focus is sir the astrology subject before applying it on the human beings the first and foremost it applied on this nature because an astrologer used to accurately predict when the rain comes like when you should sow the seeds for agriculture when you have to harvest so all this geogra- geographical aspects was covered in astrology when you actually see the geocentric concept where in this current trend like so many people claim this has this also becomes one of the reason to you know stamp a label to astrology making it to sound so pseudo if that was the reason how would astrologers in ancient times used to predict the rain used to give the accurate seasons for the farmers to sow seeds or to you know get the har- harvest if they had followed the geocentric theory how did they come across the specific accuracy of the seasons it is not possible right so only if you follow a heliocentric theory then only you will be perfectly able to analyze the duration of seasons and what season comes after what and also the waxing and waning of the moon can only be studied through the principle of heliocentric theory itself but not with geocentric theory the reason being why geocentric theory also got a little more emphasizes because the astrologers considered the earth as the major focal point not the center of the solar system so there's like there's a huge difference considering one single point from where the calculation started that point was the major focal point so for us as we are living in this planet earth we considered earth as the major focal point and the influences what the earth used to get was completely calculated by considering this as the major focal point so this is also another misunderstanding you know which tells that astrology works on the principle of geocentric theory but not heliocentric theory if that was the case we would have completely gone wrong in the interpretation of seasons also in the interpretation uh, interpretations of various geographical and weather conditions also but that did not happen so if you look at the ancient times if you look at uh, you know the testimonials of you know old old times and all so it was very accurately mentioned like what comes after what like how the clouds behave you know what time is the rainy season what time is the spring season so from when to when will it be summer so all these things were very accurately you know mentioned uh, in the you know subject of astrology so what i would tell is 
so understanding the concept of astrology itself has become uh, oh, what to tell such a complicated process as of now due to the lack of genuine knowledge which is been given in the astrology subject where many of the people are still bound to the misconceptions or the misinterpretation texts coming totally to the conclusion of pseudo science okay when our astrology is discussed we come across the word fate if everything is fate why i need astrology if everything is variable still why i need astrology again yet a uh, complex question i'll try to put forth in this way sir yes as you said the you know fate and destiny will always remain fixed we definitely cannot change and where actually the role of astrology plays its importance here like where we use astrology when we already claim that our you know the path of uh, the destiny or the fate like when everything is fixed so what very in a, in a simplified way what i would tell is as we know that the lord already like he has told paramatma he has already told that we will all be given the result for the karma is what we perform right so this is already been uh, conveyed to the humans from the lord itself he himself itself so when you look at the subject of astrology the complete principle of astrology is based on karma siddhanta so astrology completely tells you to do what sort of an action is appropriate for you hence you get the complete 100% of what the lord has already promised to give you with your activity it is as simple as that this is exactly where astrology plays its role in every humans to simplify it in a much more uh, basic level like think for an example now i have born in bangalore i have to travel to delhi so here the traveler is fixed the entity which travel is uh, is fixed that is me that the path is already fixed the path also fixes where there is a path which will take me to the destination that is delhi and the destination is also fixed here so the entity the path the destination all these three things are fixed now what happens is if i get a map how will the quality of my travel would be it would be much better right it would be much more in a, in a simplified way right if i get a map or if i get any sort of a navigation tool it becomes much more easier for me and this is exactly what even astrology does in every human life completely making ourselves conscious in our journey so when i tell conscious there is a state called as jagrut sthiti sir that is a state of being very conscious where you perform your activities completely out of your own consciousness you would have actually experienced in you know in in many stages of life also the, the actions what you perform out of your complete conscious will always give 100% result and this is exactly what astrology also does it gives you the awareness of being conscious of performing your actions in the travel of your life so just for an example we cannot change anything here we cannot everything remains fixed so hence for we have to come into this understanding that things cannot be changed according to our well wish or desire or like you call whatever it is because we do come across people who tell that that they can change according to their efforts and all right and that is completely an inappropriate uh, uh, you know idea to put forth because the creator created the creation first and then 
you know gave the room for evolution then only he brought us to this creation so whatever the requirement for us was already been created right so when we came we did not get anything with us and also we did not create anything out of this universe which never existed so whatever it is there it was already existed in this universe itself so henceforth if you still claim that you can change or something else uh, claiming astrology is a pseudo science which you know there are certain things what astrologers tell not to do actually uh, has completely a bullshit idea and all so what i would like to tell is it completely tells that you are in a state of ignorance because it is so evidently understood that whatever humans have created now had already pre existed they have taken the reference from the creation itself the creator has given such a complex creation where anything and everything what the humans have come up till date is completely by looking or by observing the creations the way how things are got changed or gone into a state of updation is all through this observations itself so henceforth astrology behaves as a tool where it completely you know puts us in the state of conscious to perform our activities so that we make the best out of our life to successfully reach our destination okay in any given horoscope i can understand there are planets and zodiac signs and their influences but there is a word lagna what does it denote and what is its significance in one's life okay um when we actually look at the point of lagna lagna is what ascendant in astrological terminology lagna is the point of evolution so this lagna can be used in various subjects and various fields so it simply tells the point of evolution of a life is considered to be lagna so that's exactly what we also consider in the field of astrology so whenever we have to fix a lagna for each and every individual the lagna keeps different every individual has the lagna different so how does this differ the considering factors are we consider what we consider the time the date and the place Please. the combination of these three things will give rise to a lagna so this lagna is nothing but the point where your life starts evolving it is exactly that point where the life has started for you so the rest of the other calculations will completely be based on this point so the point where you begin your life on this planet is considered to be lagna so this is what astrology tells about lagna it is nothing but the point of calculations sir how can i check my which is my correct current alp lagna is there any websites books okay as i actually mentioned um, the calculations involved in you know analyzing the alp lagna has a huge uh, logic behind it sir so what we have done like we have simplified all this concept we have bought into a mobile software where you can download it in the play store and you can check we have a free version and we have paid versions also available so in order to just check your alp lagna you can go to the play store install alp application update your details like your date of birth time place everything and it accurately shows where your alp lagna is progressing from your birth lagna at this current age so the paid versions will give you much more information about the influences of the planetary forces at this particular age where when the alp is progressing in so and so houses so these are all things will be covered in the paid version only to check your alp point where it is running you can download the free software which is available in the play store and you can check it out is there any websites books yes website is also there where you will get the complete details of the current alp practitioners 
and also the you know alp updates and the books available yes there are books available we are available in amazon kindle also you can download kindle you can check for alp you can uh, start uh, reading about us and also the website also gives you the updated informations about the class about the books and also about the current practitioners of alp across the country thank you so much thanks once again for your valuable time and informations it will be very useful for a lot of people thank you once again definitely thank you sir thanks a lot for having me on this session thank you